Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Betty Money and I do everything in this YouTube channel. First of all, before you continue, excuse the background noise. Noise? Noise. Noise. There is construction going on where I live and there is a lot, a lot of noise. So, hey, I'm home and I'm struggling to talk. I know you, you understand the feeling, but anyway, we are still going to do the video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to draw your eyebrows. Uh, these eyebrows is a struggle, I know, I know. Most people struggle with uh, drawing eyebrows and I'm here for you, I'm here to help you out. So, the first thing you need is an eye pencil. No, that is not even the first thing. The first thing you need is make sure that your eyebrows are well shaped. I know they are, my, first of all, come to come and me, my eyebrows are so bushy. Oh God. My eyebrows are so bushy. I always make sure that my eyebrows are shaped. I can be excuse to your salty eyebrows. So, make sure that your eyebrows are shaped. Shaping eyebrows is around 50 bob. There is shaping, there is tweezing. Tweezing is around 100 bob, which is so painful if you've ever tried tweezing. So, make sure that your eyebrows are shaped. The second thing is have a well sharp. The, the equipment you're supposed to have is a well sharpened eye pencil. You're supposed to have a a concealer uh, the next thing is you're supposed to have this type of a brush not exactly this type there is another type actually this is another type the next thing is this it's like a brush it has a name but it's this brush mine got lost so I'm using a, an old mascara it's actually dried then the last one is a I uh, for this foundation you can use this only but in Tawanisha Kazia foundation so the first thing is you comb you just comb them you comb your eyebrows upwards there are people who use a certain soap is it a soap or what is it to make sure that it's equal aligned then the next thing is your eyebrows should start from here hapo and this should be should be where your eyebrows are going to end Mark, just mark with your eye pencil that way. So, the second thing, oh, I forgot to tell you that you're supposed to have a mirror. This is the mirror I'm using. I use my eyeshadow palette mirror. So, now, following your hairs, you just draw your eyebrows. Unaona hiyo kona unafika hapo kwa hiyo kona. Then on the upper part make sure that hii kona ya hapa hii iko nyuma yake. You understand the corner at the upper part is slightly behind kona ya nyuma. Then you start right here. Then you join them. You see that's it the same way the, the way I was saying that your corner on the upper part should be before behind, behind I'm a before this one in a far here if you don't understand so he is your upper corner your upper eyebrows corner should be behind the lower part one so now trend and I I'll just have to fast forward this The second bit after that, after drawing your eyebrows, is you now fill in the same eye pencil you had used to draw your brows. Uh huh. You fill in from this part, Kwanza, TV. Then the other part. Don't fill in a pattern in my brows that was in a car is it got too dark they are not supposed to be too dark they have to look natural then on the outer part of your eyebrows just draw something like this in your can come and strands is a that way 
Then the other side. That's it. So now we are not yet done. Now here comes the work of your concealer and the work of your foundation. So with your concealer, just down here with a shape afterwards. So now you go in with this brush, the brushes I was telling you, go in with this brush, just slowly to make sure that it's so even and so smooth and flawless. Just slightly below your brows. I now I, I know you can now see the difference between b before we started before we had applied the concealer and now they now look so flawless then now you can choose to go with the concealer on the upper part or not go with the concealer this is something which, which can actually be blended out I'll blend it out and I'll be back after blending it but first of all I like using this uh, my foundation the foundation I use on my face because this is the upper part now obviously you will have to blend this upper part in a hapa most of the times the concealer will actually dry up and this part will be lighter because this concealer is lighter than your face lighter, lighter, lighter than your, the foundation you use so I go with the foundation your blending your hapa na hapa is for it to, to match actually so now I go in with my foundation just make sure that you follow the shape we're just making them flawless Then on the other side, So now, after that, after that, because your brush has some foundation on, I usually use 
my forehead to actually clean the foundation then on the outer part of your eyebrows you go in with your brush This makes your brows look so so natural. So after that, the first the first scar brush you used, you go in to make sure that the hairs look nice. So that's it. If you want some smaller size of your brows, you can actually draw some smaller sizes. But on, on the mirror, it, it's small. Not this. No, no. But I love them. I love the way they look. So that's literally the tutorial I have for drawing your eyebrows. The simplest tutorial you have. So don't forget, first of all, the how you have to shape your eyebrows first before you draw you draw them or before you fill them so that's it so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment share, and subscribe to my youtube channel channel and see you in my next video bye